They say a bad day of fishing is still better than a good day at the office. But more and more this is becoming untrue as the number of fish in the sea dwindles down to worrying levels. But some help seems to be on the way at least in Mauritania, which saw the launch of the new Fisheries Transparency Initiative, FITI. The sole purpose of this initiative is to tackle the unregulated, unreported and secretive nature of fishing practices that facilitate overfishing all around the world. Mauritania has some of the world's richest fishing grounds and depends heavily on its fisheries for jobs, food and nutrition. But overfishing, ecosystem damage and climate change threaten Mauritanian and other fisheries, while repeated studies show the benefits of better management. Generations and generations will come. It's true, we are done now. But we want our children and great-grandchildren to find something better. We want those fishermen to live better than us. It is a worldwide problem. Damage to coral reefs and mangroves, which are nurseries for many fish, add to problems led by overfishing. Mauritania hosted the international conference to officially launch the FITI. This initiative recognizes the importance of solid legislation. The only way to improve this situation is with good governance. Many agree that openness and collaboration are key to saving the fishing sector. I have experienced with my own uh, uh, groups and uh, uh, seen with my own eyes how uh, the combination of the wisdom and the strengths and the objectivity of this combination of this magical triangle of government, civil society and private sector can really uh, achieve tremendous improvements. Experts say closing grounds and cracking down on illegal fishing gives stocks a chance to recover. Some grounds, such as those in Fiji, have been revived by stronger protection. With this initiative, Mauritania may yet stand a chance of curbing the problem of overfishing. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.